The Battle of East Anglia, Norwich versus Ipswich. Now, in my opinion, this is an underrated derby. We'll ignore the handbags before the game and the grandma given it large. But overall, the last fixture at Portman Road really surprised me. The welcoming before the game is something you don't see often in English football. The atmosphere was incredible with a nice display. It had so much action, but ultimately Norwich were the happier of sides. And that is because it's been 14 years since Ipswich have last beaten Norwich. Now, that's a long time. However, times have changed and Ipswich are running up with no investment from the Americans and looking for back-to-back -back promotion. Ipswich which have impressed everyone, there's no question. But the one they all want are them bragging rights which they can't seem to get. It's been five years since the last head to head at Carra Road, but Norwich are also doing very well. Form has changed, fighting for the playoffs and one of the strongest teams in the league at home. Honestly, you can't call what way this is going to go. I live near a town called Lowestoft where I've got mates of both Norwich and Ipswich. And as much as I banter them and say it's a friendly derby, it means everything to them. I am so close to 100,000 subscribers, so if you are new, please help me out by subscribing. Will it live up to expectation and be a cracker, or will Norwich win like they have done for the last 14 years. 12.30 kickoff sold out and a march to the stadium expected by the Canaries. As a lad growing up around the area, I'm eager to get inside that stadium. Right then folks, it's the big one. We're in Norwich and I've seen so much police. I'll tell you what, it's probably the most I've seen police around in Norwich. As far as I remember. I'll tell you one thing as well. This derby does not get the respect it deserves. You don't need to be kicking the lumps out of people for it to be a fierce derby. I'll tell you that now. All you need to know is that they absolutely despise each other. The fine city of Norwich. This is literally my closest game of the season. That is just mental. There is just police at every corner. That is one thing I've learned just driving in here. There you are. That is brave. We're on it again. Oh. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> He's actually just reeled it in. Got a paro going off here. Everyone thought they were Ipswich fans for a minute. They're, 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 they're actually all Norwich. It's just a sea of yellow around it. I'm so glad I'm showing both sides and the one at Ipswich and the one here at Norwich showing both experiences of what this Anglo derby means to the fan base. I just have a feeling there's a bit more animosity in this one at Norwich, I'm not going to lie. Okay, yeah, Ipswich had the parade for the players and everything which was special. That was so special and really unique in English football, but this one... Look at the pyros around us, so many pyros around us. Not as many as um, Ipswich at that time, let's put it that way. Look at this! Tell you what, Norwich, tell you what, I'm impressed. Let's be honest, these paras are only for better Italia. They're just buzzing for their mill. They're for better Italia, really. They're just excited. Look at this. Look, you don't need to be beating everyone up for a city of fierce derby, as I've already mentioned. This one's a good one, I'm telling you. I know, 2 1 Norwich, Sergeant and Sainz, a Sainz banger. We're going to. I can't say. Look at this, marching towards the stadium. Score prediction, mate. 1-1! One, 1-1, one. One, 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 one. he's being sensible isn't he? Stadium in front of us, Carroll Road, they're very good at home, really strong in the league but we'll see how it goes today. I'm saying 3-2 Norwich, 2-0 Norwich, 3-1 Norwich, up the notch. East Anglia then, is it yellow and green then? Yes! yes. <laughs> right, we'll see how this game goes but we're going to head inside the stadium now. Right then, we're inside Carroll Road, Ipswich fans are just on the other side over there, but they're behind the goal. It is the big one, I'm really excited for this atmosphere, it should be good on derby day. What is going on here? Members of the Royal Marine, I think it is. Ten minutes until kickoff though. I think the nerves around here are starting to build. Atmosphere in here is starting to build. This will be a good one. I may not be able to see the Ipswich fans, but I think it'll be good. Grand Holt, Norwich City legend. Well, they've got Sergeant and Ashley Barnes up front today. We'll see if they can do the damage. Just look at the sea of yellow here. Of yellow. Big, big legend at this football club. I do remember bumping into him at the shopping centre. Look at the Norwich fans bouncing behind the goal as well. I'll tell you what, that is class. Since I was young, showing the generations from either side, young and growing up. Really good, that's a really good banner now. I'll give them it, it's different. I wonder what's about to be said here. Yep, kind of expected that one. Will East Anglia be blue or will it be yellow? like it has done the last 14 years. And I think it's going to be a draw, a 2-2 draw. Listen to this. Here we go, this is so loud. The 
atmosphere in here. <laughs> the game hasn't kicked off yet and they're already bouncing around behind the goal. People can hate on it and I will back it. And we're underway here. Oh, straight from kickoff as well. Definitely shows their intent. Stop it. Corner ball. Look what it means, man. I'm telling you. I hated on this derby before the Ipswich game last time around. I did hate on this. But now, whoa, whoa. Experience it. He just goes. This could be a big chance. Oh. It's the final ball which is letting him down. 17 minutes in, it's such a cagey game. They're both just trying to work each other out right now. Is he off or is he on? That's the question. Oh, it's a foul. I reckon it'll be a yellow because he went for the ball just outside the box. I don't know here. Big decision for the ref. The fans want him off, obviously. Last man, but I don't know what the rules are if, if he's gone for the ball. It's a yellow. Yeah, I think it was. I don't know, the rules change every week. 38th minute. There's been a lot of fouls in dangerous positions, even corners as well. Norwich have got to take one of these opportunities. Big moment for a big player. He's actually done it from the free kick. They had to make one of the moments count and that was the one from the free kick and it's 1-0 to Norwich. And they have deserved it, they really have. They've been pushing, they've been aggressive and they are one and up. I'm just thinking as well, psychologically for Ipswich, the fact they're battling for automatic promotion and then also, they're 14 years, not beating Norwich. That's a big psychological barrier. And that, it's half time. 1 0 to Norwich at a break, and they've been deserving it. They've won the first balls, won the second balls. They've been fighting really physical out there, and they've deserved this 1 0 lead. Going to second half, the atmosphere in there as well, insane. Great experience and have deserved the 1-0 lead. Here we go then, the second half's about to begin. What way this is going to go? I reckon Norwich, I think they got it in the bag. Sergeant's through. Oh! What? How was that not a free kick? Oh my days. <laughs> it's the most stone stonewall free kick you'll ever see. Time is ticking in the 68th minute and Ipswich have got a corner. It's starting to get really nervy inside the stadium. Now this could be a real big chance. Sargent's running straight through. Save. Big opportunity that to wrap up the game out of tune and then the 70th minute. That needed to go in. Cuts in. This could be it. Oh! Over the bar on target. And that one could be a different story, legit. Oh. Big moment. That's a massive blow for Ipswich. That had to go in. Eight minutes to go here. Starting to get squeaky bum time, but Norwich are managing it well, I must say. The Barclays stand atmosphere behind the goal has been phenomenal all game. Trying to be as neutral as possible. Obviously, I've been to the Ipswich run prior and I've been to this one today. They've both been phenomenal experiences for their own reason. <laughs> atmosphere in here all game, in all fairness. Really good. I have been very impressed, I must say. <laughs> This song is just rings in your ear all the time. Oh my god. Whoa. Look how much that means. If you thought this was a friendly derby, then think again. This is proper squeaky bum time. The nerves in here, like, oh. Getting more and more nervous as the time ticks on. If they're nearly there. Five minutes had it on. They scored a 97th minute winner against Southampton the other day. They do not give up until that whistle's gone. Three more minutes to go. Passionate of fans here, man. They want these East Anglia Rag and Rice, I'm telling you. 30 seconds remaining. They've done really well. The game management is second half has been phenomenal. Look at the tension. Everyone has got their eyes on the referee. Look at it. Everyone's up. Final few seconds. That's it. Full time whistle or something. Wow. 
Norwich have won. And it's a longer way for Ipswich. For the title race, for the East Anglian Derby, Greg and Rose, they have to wait even longer. What a special afternoon at Carroll Road for these Norwich City supporters. And also the players, it means a lot to them. Even a playoffs for Norwich, it's a massive win for us. Everything all round, it doesn't get any bigger. I don't think Alex Griffin's going to be happy with that one. Yeah, I don't think he will be. The passion from the fans all game is so evident. Put some respect to this East Anglian derby. I think it's going to be one hell of a party in Norfolk tonight. One hell of a party. A long night for these supporters coming in. 15 years now the chance. Not beating your rivals for 15 years. That is mental. Oh, I don't want to. Look at that. Imagine that. And that was the East Anglian derby. The passion in the stands was incredible. And I tell you what, I really enjoyed myself at both Norwich and Ipswich earlier on in the season. But this time round in this season and continuing into about 15 years now, Norwich have got the bragging rights once again. Leave a like on this video, subscribe as we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.